Joining me now from Los Angeles, Robert Greenwald, filmmaker, activist, and founder of Brave New Films, and Eli Clifton, national security reporter with the Center for American Progress, is Think Progress in our New York studios. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining me. us. Um, Robert, military suicides are up. The accused gunman has a brain injury, and U.S. soldiers are doing increasingly disturbing things like forming kill squads, desecrating bodies, burning Korans. Now this. Is this the result of war fatigue? Uh, there's no question that it's the result of the fatigue, the horrors. I mean, in some ways, Tom, and we all know this, human beings are not meant to go through this process. We try to train them. We try to teach them. But year after year, this gentleman, I think he'd been in Iraq for two or three tours. Now he was in Afghanistan. To commit this extraordinary atrocity, he clearly cracked. The military no service is set up to be able to train people to be murderers and then also train them when to turn it off. And, you know, it's just your heart breaks when you see what's going on there. And as you started the program by talking about, yes, it's time to get out. We went in for no good reason. There's no explanation. Never defended our security. And we've got to get out now. Robert, 60% of the American public say no. You know, time to end the war in Afghanistan, get out. Um, this war isn't worth fighting. Yet the Obama administration has set 2014 as their, as their move out deadline. Um, what can we do, Robert, you're, you're a master at this stuff, uh, to mobilize the American people, to get to inform people. I mean, your Rethink Afghanistan documentary is brilliant. Uh, what more can we do to awaken people and get them active in pushing this administration and, and legislators of both parties to, to move toward a, ra a more rapid pull, pull out of troops? Well, I think you made the important point there, Tom. It has been both parties. There's been a bipartisan agreement in Washington for far too long that any and all of these problems can be solved if you invade and you occupy a country. And the only solution we've been going to, problem after problem, country after country, is a military solution. So I think what people can do is what they're beginning to do, hold their elected res officials responsible. We did not elect you as senator or House member. We did not send you to Washington to provide more occupation, more killing, more tragedies for Americans and Afghanis, and to say nothing of the extraordinary waste of billions and billions of dollars, all in a cause that makes no sense in terms of it being a military cost. You know, when I was in Afghanistan, you get off the plane and you feel in your heart and your soul, this is the third poorest country in the world, and boy, do they need things, and they need doctors and hospitals and roads and jobs, and they don't need occupation. Robert, how do we change the, the paradigm in the United States from always every military option is on the table response to, uh, you know, Dennis Kucinich talked about having a Department of Peace, you know, an actual advocate at the cabinet level saying, hey, wait a minute. Uh, any, any thoughts on, on further steps in that direction? You talked earlier about the, ins the general insanity of war itself. I, I refer to it as mass in, in mental illness, mass insanity. What do we do? Well, as you well know, Tom, you've been writing and talking about this for a while, and thank you for that. Um, I think one of the things we need to do is not pleasant, but we need to look it in the eye and say, these wars are failures. Men and women are being killed. They're being killed in Afghanistan. They're killed in Iraq. They're killed in Vietnam. And lives are, not, are being lost in vain. We don't like to say that because it's painful, but that's the truth and billions and billions of dollars are being squandered. And until we begin to confront the fact these are failures, total and complete failures from security points of view, from our country's point of view, from a moral point of view, we're not going to be able to stop the next one from happening where they get up there again and start talking about the way to solve Iran is by bombing, occupying, and invading. Yeah. Uh, amen. Robert, Eli, thank you both for the great work you're doing. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Thanks.